Okay guys, I just undercoated this car, or truck, and I left a little spot right there to show you how dry it is. And I'm just going to give her a shot here, Sherry's going to do a little camber work, so then I'll give you a walk around the whole truck, show you what it done. You see how dry that is? Can you? up inside here. Get the right brake drum roll shot too. And that should be it for the truck. As you can see, it's nice and wet now. Dirty job. I can tell you that much. Okay. Give you a walk around here. Show you what I've done. I uh, get inside the doors. I go up in through the vents in the bottom of the doors. All along the bottom. Get all that nice and wet up inside there. Uh, I even give it a shot in there. Um, the rocker panels. I don't know if I can get to see underneath it or not. But as you can see, she's nice and wet now. Uh, this whole truck was dry like that uh, part of that frame I left there to show you. Uh, rocker panels have plugs up in there. I don't you can see them, but anybody got an S10 truck, they're, they're there. I take those out and squirt up and down the sides, right inside the rocker panel. Uh, let me see. Uh, up in there, I do all the bolts on the plastic inner fender and stuff like that. Um, all on the red sport. Down inside the fenders, uh, the hood, all along there, up inside. I squirt it down so it gets down in around the hinges, where the hinges are mounted. Um, inside the tailgate, I do up in here around the tailgate latches. I even squirt it under the box liner. In there, wherever I can get it, in around the tail lights. Uh, you see, nice and wet now. Uh, it's been a couple years since this truck's been done. Same in here. Uh, that's the spring I gotta put back in there. Try to find some way to stop it from popping back out. The wind caught his door. This here's the latch I gotta. Either find one, or it goes up in there. So I gotta find a new one of them, get that in, and make that uh, 
tailgate thingy there. Like I said, I do inside everywhere. I usually ask the customer where they don't want it. So, anyways, uh, this is the gun again. I showed this a while back, but I'll show it again. Uh, it's an Ultra Pro. Uh, get them at Napa. They're $89.99. This one's three years old. Every now and again, you gotta take it apart and uh, clean it. Uh, I got a problem in my trigger action here, it's not shutting off, but I have all new seals and whatnot. So, uh, I always wear a respirator even outside because I made a mistake when I first started doing this. And uh, let me see. Yeah. Hopefully that's all right. Anyways, we'll go inside here. See what's up. Turn that compressor off. And uh, there it is. There, I think I used probably five cans on this one. So. Uh, that took quite a bit because it was so dry. Usually it's four, but uh, anyways, uh, another update on the car. I got those welded in, grind it. Look pretty good. Show you the other side. Welded in, grind it. Lines look a lot better. That one there needs a little more work. I might have to build it out right here a little. So I can get it bent out quite far enough. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, the undercoating there. Like I said, this stuff's 100 bucks a bucket. 96 something. And I don't know, you get five vehicles out of a bucket maybe. And. I was charging sixty dollars a job, and I put it up to uh, seventy because it does take an hour, an hour and a half to do it. So, uh, so I put it up a little, and at the garages they charge probably a hundred, hundred and ten bucks plus tax, and I'm sure they don't. I make sure I get every little nut and cranny I can find. Uh, I mean, it's, it only takes an hour, an hour and a half, so I mean, you must well do a good job, you're under there anyway, and it is a dirty job, but uh, it does save your vehicle, especially here, all the salt on the roads in the wintertime and uh, everything like that. So I, uh, I suggest everybody does it every year, some people like miss a year or something like that. It does. It doesn't last forever. It scrapes off. Drip, or it doesn't drip off, but not this stuff. There's no drip, but uh, it does get scraped off. Especially this guy goes in blueberry fields and stuff, and uh, everything. So, anyways, just a little, a little quick little video, show you what's going on, and that's it for today. It's five to two. I'm going to get a shower because I'm dirty, real dirty. Uh, so I'll let you go here. Thanks for watching my videos, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.